Question 11. Amir and Laura buy some fruit. We've got grapes, which are £2.50 a kilogram. Pineapples are £1.40 each. And peaches are £1.99 for a box. Amir buys two pineapples. So we want two of those. And a box of peaches. So we want one of those. How much does he pay? Well, first thing to do is to work out my two pineapples. Now you can probably do that in your head actually. Two lots of 40p is 80p. And two lots of a pound is two pounds. So it's going to be two pound 80. So pineapples is going to be two pound 80. We've got two of them. And we've got a box of peaches. So we want to be adding on the £1.99. And once you've added that on, we'll get the final answer. So, 0 add 9 is 9. 8 and 9 is 17. Put the 7 in, carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus that 1 of carry is 4. So the final answer to part 1 should be £4.79. Pound time is already in the answer box for you, so you just need to put your £4.79 in. Let's get a different colour to part two. Now says Laura buys half a kilogram of grapes. Half a kilogram of grapes. And one pineapple. How much change does she get from five pound? Well, let's deal with a half a kilogram of grapes first. If you go back to your price list, a full kilogram is two pound fifty. So half a kilogram is going to be half of that. And half of £2.50, half of 50p is 25p, and half of £2 is £1. So it's going to be £1.25p. So half a kilogram of grapes is £1.25. And she has one pineapple. One pineapple is £1.40. Now before we can work out the change from £5, we need to work out how much this is altogether, how much she's actually spending. So we need to add in a column method. 5 add 0 is 5, 2 add 4 is 6, 1 add 1 is 2. So she's spending £2.65. So how much change does she get from £5? Well, if we can make this add up to £5, we will get the change that she gets. So if I add on £2, I'll get to £4.65. And then from £4.65 to £5, it will be an extra 35 pence. So it looks as though the answer is £2.35. If you do want to do a column method to do that, then if you start with your £5 and subtract, the amount she was spending, £2.65, you'll get how much change she gets. So zero take away five you can't do, so you'd have to borrow one for the next column. Well, the next column is zero, so you can't borrow for that, so you've got to go to the next column, which is five. So you make that into four, and the one you borrow goes to the middle column. But we need to now borrow one for this middle column to get the one over to the end column. So cross off the 10 and make that into 9. The one you borrowed goes there to make 10. Now we should be able to do it. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 6 is 3. 4 take away 2 is 2. Don't forget your decimal point and your pound sign. £2.35. But it would be possibly easier for some of you just to count up from £2.65 until you reach £5. Either way is acceptable because you should still get the same answer of £2.35.